Hi guys, my name is Kitty Bankai, and today I have an unboxing for you. I got this box from Taste Japan, and the box is filled with Japanese snacks. And um, this box is the August September box. So when you open the box, what you see is this. And this paper shows you what the snacks are and what they taste like. This is actually my first box that I've ever tried to order. So this is the contents of the box. So let's just start. The first thing I'm gonna start with is these. And on this paper it says it's called Cabbage Taro. And it is sauce flavor cabbage corn puff crisps. So let's just try it. It does smell really saucy, if that's something you can say. Um, I'm not a really big fan of these. <laughs> they taste saucy and it has like a weird taste. Yeah. Let's just go on to the next thing. The next thing I see is this cute container. I'm probably gonna keep this when I've eaten it all. And this is Juicy Color Ball. Sounds appetizing, right? And it is fruit flavored ball gummy candy. So let's open it up. So this is how the package looks like without the wrappings on it. Kind of bummer that I have to throw this out. So let's see. Oh, it tastes really fruity. Got a green one. Whoa. That's really sweet. Like, really sweet. I'm not sure. But it doesn't taste like it has different taste, it just tastes the same, all the colors. And it's really, really sweet. The next thing I have is this. This is Himesama no Kita Takara Mono. It is double berry flavored jam full cookie type snack. I'm not really sure if I like this because I'm not a huge fan of jelly, but I'm gonna try it anyways because it is from Japan and I love Japan. Whoa! So this is how it looks like. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad. But... To be honest, it's kind of a boring flavor. So next thing is going to be this. And it says here that this is mixed sumami. It is a selection of popular traditional Japanese snacks, often served with beer. I do not drink beer. I do not like beer at all. <laughs> Uh, so I guess that these are a lot of different types of snacks and I kind of wish I knew how to read Japanese because it would be nice to know what flavors it is. Ooh, that's a... it smells a lot like seafood, like uh, shrimp. And I'm not a big fan of shrimp either. <laughs> Let's try it. wasn't that bad. It's okay. The next thing I have these two cute marshmallow looking things and it's marshmallow tefku and uh 
It's a marshmallow variant of a popular rice-based Japanese snack. One with chocolate and one with strawberry. So I'm guessing this is the strawberry, Ichigo, and this is the chocolate. Let's see. Oh, that's really soft. Oh, you can actually feel the filling inside of it. Mm. You can see the pink color inside of it. The strawberry isn't that strong. It's like a very faint taste of strawberry. And if you're wondering why I'm not eating it all, it's because I want to share it with my boyfriend. And my boyfriend wants to be anonymous, so he didn't want to be part of my video. So right now I'm going to taste the chocolate one. <laughs> it's really soft. Well, so you see the chocolate. I would almost say that the chocolate flavor is way stronger than the strawberry taste. Uh, next thing, this, and this is wasabi nori. It is a wasabi flavored seaweed snack. Um, I'm kind of afraid of um tasting this because I'm not a big fan of wasabi. I do like seaweed, but I'm still gonna try it. Oh wow. It looks like this. Like, really sticky looking. It... It has a faint smell of wasabi, I would say. Oh. Wow. Whoa. No, I do not think I'm going to like this one at all. Uh, I didn't even bite any of it all, but I could taste the wasabi and it's like, like flexible like this. You can't just bite it off and it's really sticky. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to taste is this. Looks very interesting. And this is called Supai Umi Niko Yushin. And uh, there's three bowls in here. And two of them are sweet gummy plum. And then one of them is sour. So I'm just gonna try one of them out. And I hope that I'm not gonna get the sour one. Okay. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna go with the one that's in the middle. And I'm gonna hope that it's not the sour one. I actually think I got the sour one. But it tastes good. <laughs> Next thing! We are going to get some pokey! I've actually never seen this, um, this flavor before. And this is, uh, well it actually says in the box. This is berry and akai flavored. And it's a limited edition. It looks really good. Let's try it. Ooh. So, so there's three packs in here. One, two, right there. Oh, that smells really good. It tastes okay. I think it's because I'm not really a big fan of berries, like blueberries and cranberries. I just like strawberries and cherries. And I don't even know how akai tastes like. So the next thing I'm gonna try is this. This is the one that I'm the most excited about. And it's called Horadikisa DIY Lolly. And uh, it's like you just have these uh, bananas on a stick, not real bananas, but candy bananas, and you have chocolate and then you just put the drizzle on. But I'm gonna do this uh, in a separate video, just because it might take longer, and this video would be way too long. The last thing I'm gonna open is this, and this is called 
Namco snack. It is chocolate flavored corn puffs, and it has a free sticker in it. And if you get a cat, you're lucky. So let's open this up. Oh, so this is the bag with the corn puffs. These are what they look like, kind of like a mushroom. Good snack. Um, and then of course there's the sticker. Let's see if we get the cat. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, we didn't get the cat. It's still cute though. Look at this. This is how it looks like. That was all I got, and I'm really happy for the things I got. I'm really excited about um tasting all these Japanese snacks and it's it's fun when you get the box you obviously get this and on their website tastejapan.net you can go on and uh, go onto the blog and you'll have to enter a code which you get in this piece of paper and then you can go into the blog and see more information about these candies but that was it for today guys thanks for watching and Remember to subscribe and like this video. I'll really appreciate it. Bye!